new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned. A fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yeah, I want you to show me, but you're the hag of the woods that everybody's been talking about. I thought it was a fucking ghost. Turns out it's you, isn't it? Where the fuck are you at in all this? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So most people would want to probably so choose it? death. I'm choose. gonna choose judgment. One last time, go back. Go back and end this. I don't know if I trust you anymore and I can throw you, lady. You're about as trustworthy as a sidewinder. Quick way, apparently. Asked an answer. Uh, Pansy. Wasn't that bad. Uh, hey, you're cured, though. You're not a werewolf no more. Better than not having any clothes, Can't fucker. How the fuck did you get clean so quickly? Told we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Is there another werewolf out here? Hmm? Is the white werewolf over here somehow? Is that why he's been hiding all night?
Just stay on the island, bud. Wait till morning and then fucking leave. Fuck that. You swim to shore, your ass is gonna get killed. This is why white people get killed in fucking horror movies. They don't fucking listen to their better instincts. The table, help me. Get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right. Got to get a vantage point. I like the Asian girl. She's practical. And she's cute. Cute as hell. Let's see if there's anything missed that we missed earlier. Did we, did we miss anything earlier? Alright, nothing here. Okay, a whole lot of nothing burger. What's not okay? Better. Yeah, but the werewolf is literally just going to jump right through the window. So what does it fucking matter? If the window is open or not, but okay. I didn't see a path updated, so nothing much changed. Alright. Nope. Can't go that way. Nope, can't go that way. Okay. Upstairs. At, oh, hold on. Maybe there's some shit over here. Nope. Okay. Ah, scary wolf jumped through the window. Nope. Okay. I like how they don't utilize a lot of jump scares. Like, they got me a couple times, but, like, most horror is like this. It's just fucking un the best kind of horror, in my opinion. Is just shit that's like this, just fucking really unsettling, and you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen next. How? Why? Why wouldn't we just move that shit? Like I know there's another staircase over here, but why wouldn't we just move that shit? Wouldn't that make sense? Instead of going all the way fucking around. Come on, the amazing one-handed boy. To a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? 
The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right. Yeah, let's find a clue and just throw it on the ground. Yeah, it's fine. Who fucking needs a clue? Okay, no, okay, nothing in here. Oh, I'm getting a raging clue over in this direction. I'm gonna get a raging clue here. How long has this guy been here? Septimus, huh? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Maybe I should keep looking. Get out of the way, the amazing one-handed boy. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Can we go even further upstairs? We fucking can. Let's do that. on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. What a douche nozzle. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, R.I.P. megaphone. What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think he might be right.
I like how they're kind of smart about it, though, and they pretty much stay in pairs. That's a lot, a lot of fucking horror movie protagonists don't do that shit. They fucking split up like Scooby-Doo and shit. And they're fucking it up for the whole, for the whole family, you know? Nothing over here. Okay, worth a shot. Nothing else to really see. Well, I guess we prepare for attack now. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you makes it stronger. We're here to lead the way. Love meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Strat and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Showtime, motherfuckers. Wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> I mean, that's a fair reaction, man. Like, fucking, I, I don't know here? if I could... Should we go find the others? No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the? Get the gun ready, bitch. They ain't gonna do you no good pointing at the ground. How you doing, motherfucker? Blow his fucking head off! What are you doing? Right, we can give them to her. She passes. 
if she passes. No, I want this girl to survive. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I want to go back and redo that. Can I go back and redo that? Let's uh, no, I wanted her to survive. Okay. Fuck, dude. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What I mean, they have a point. Matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? 
How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Like that! Answer your question, bitch! Nope, oh, fuck. Gotta be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Over here. Got some blood. Wait, Needs when did she there. cut her hair? Cuz I remember oh, her having her longer her. hair when she first started. Whoa. This is where we went off the road 2 months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team. I like Ryan. He's a good character. It all makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. See, this is why he's a good character. I like Ryan. I fucking liked him from the beginning because he he was he kind of reminded me of me, you know. Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No worries. I guess. Oh, pungent. This place has got some uncool vibes. Oh, 
podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I th think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? He did it. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Abram, Liza, the whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Never go off, especially as a person of color, into the dark, creepy woods, goddamn alone. What is wrong with you, Ryan? Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. What have we learned? Don't go into the creepy woods by yourself. Just, that's white folk behavior. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Oh, Mr. Hackett, you are going to die terribly, and I'm going to enjoy it. What are you waiting for? 
Shoot the stupid girl! Are you sure about this? Shoot. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. She's not gonna be happy. You think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Well, how did your son get infected? That's what I want to know. This part's probably going to get copyright claimed. God damn it. I'm not even trying to make money off of this. I just did this for fun. Good. Good. That sucks. Oh, I'm so upset about that one.
I'm not sure how I feel about this ending. I mean, other than the fact that Caitlyn died, I, I'm so upset that I Summer killed her. Camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anthony? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, Hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes. of course. That's, oh, that is that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. 
So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh God, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Holy shit, Grace, why didn't you tell me about this? We could get in some serious trouble. It's fine. We don't even know if it's real. Also, it was never actually sent. And what would they even have us cease and desist from doing? Looking for ghosts? We're fine. Signed by Travis Hackett. Why didn't he send it? Beats me. Are you sure we should be publicizing stuff like this? Well, here's my pitch. If anyone wants to talk to us about what we're investigating, then be my guest. As of right now, we've had no indication that what we're doing is anything other than completely legal. I don't know about this. All I know is that usually cease and desists come from not wanting folks to find stuff out. Grace, are we getting mixed up in things that are gonna bite us in the ass? I don't know. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes... The truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, well, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just... Say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my God, is this real? Well, <laughs> that is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. 
I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. The hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! God! Uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't know. That... What's that thing? There's this thing. It makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people. There, there's Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though. I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Pixar didn't happen, right? Well, Pix so did happen. No, Pix. You can fabricate experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. Okay, I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. Wow. What an artisan. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out, thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin, fur, Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man, you're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's Razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. Your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me this succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. 
So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast.